Yes, Shorya. Long time no see. Hello, sir. Yeah, long time no see. I was like, uh, uh, beach me shadi karne chala gaya tha. Shadi karne? Khud ki shadi? Matlab, I. Ki are you a priest? No vacation. Acha. Okay. No, I know you're not a priest. I said, are you खुद की शादी की किसी और की शादी कराने गए थे? But okay, yeah. So congratulations, man. Congrats, congrats. Thank you so much. बोलो बोलो. Thank you so much. Hmm. Yeah. So आपके stage को stage two course में एक E seven chord आपने सिखाई है. हम्म. तो उस E seven में मतलब वो video देखने से पहले मैंने try किया था कि मैं खुद उसको बना सकूँ chord को. Excellent. Very good. तो जब मैंने try किया तो तो मैंने दो strings में दो strings press करके कर दिया. दो strings press करके कर दिया. हाँ हाँ that's also right don't worry that's right तो एक क्वेश्चन तो ये है कि is there a reason कि आपने वो जो दूसरी वाली ऐसी shape है वो सिखाई क्या उसका कोई reason था that is my first question the other question है जब हम ये कोई भी chord सीखते E dominant seven या major major seven या ऐसी कोई तो what I've seen is कि अगर एक बार सीख भी लो तो भी ना उसको कोई application नहीं मिलता तो What's the best way to learn? जैसे minor, major और बाकी सारा पूरा fretboard पे जो भी chords सीखे तो उसमें ना कुछ application था किसी गाने से या किसी चीज से तो we मतलब ऐसे बहुत आसानी से muscle memory ही बन गई उसकी understood understood but क्योंकि इनका कोई कोई context नहीं है तो muscle memory और practice करना मुश्किल हो जाता है तो any advice on that good question okay so first question तुम्हारा E seven को play तुमने ऐसे भी कर सकते हो और तो उंगलियों के साथ भी कर सकते हो, चार उंगलियों के साथ भी कर सकते हो, राइट? मैं अगर E7 प्ले करनी होती, मैं दोनों प्ले करता हूँ। A minus seven भी आप दो से भी कर सकते हो, चार से भी कर सकते हो। But the first question is कि मैंने वो क्यों सजेस्ट करी थी? मैंने वो सजेस्ट क्यों इसलिए करी थी? Because you are a part of the late beginner course, right? I will always try to teach you the more difficult thing, right? This तरीक I want you guys to practice. I always want to practice the difficult things, क्योंकि difficult हो गया तो easy आराम से transition कर लोगे। Easy हो गया तो difficult में दिक्कत होने वाली है। Right? So the main reason why I suggested that is because वो, but at the same time I also feel कि I like the sound of the four finger E7 a lot more than two. I like two as well, but it's a it's a more application kind of thing. If I want a airy kind of a sound, sustained sound, तो I use that E7 ऐसे वाली. If I want a more controlled sound, then I use वो. Right? So, but in your case, the question, the answer is कि beginner course था, I want to do just the difficult things. Okay, difficult to do. Okay. That's, but first of all, really good, yeah. I'm really happy that you figured, we're, we're trying to figure out a chord shape on your own. By the way, what we talked about today, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, 1, you can do the same in that. If you know an E major is this, you know that if I want to put it in 7th, then I can do it in 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, 1, where can I do it? Right? So, excellent. Okay, cool. Now, now coming to the second question. Uh, second question was the application. Wala. Now, see. Uh, and this, this is the last question, I guess, or question So, uh, application, they go, you listen to a certain set of music, right? And you're saying application nahi hai. Now, if I were to just go to, let's say, somebody who listens to a lot of blues, to usko to sirf dominant sunega, aur kuch sunega hi nahi. If I speak to somebody who listens to a lot of jazz, usko Diminished वगैरह भी सुनेंगे लेकिन उसको dominant भी सुनेगा, right? So first thing is you need to start listening to different genres of music. That is one, okay? However, if you don't want to do that, if you are really uptight कि मैंने तो ये गाने सुनने हैं, then you do one little चीज, जिसके बारे में मैंने पहले workshop से बात करी हुई है. In any Hindi song that you listen to, replace all minor chords with minor seventh chords, आँखें बंद करके. Okay. Every minor chord replace it with a minor seventh chord. Mm -hmm. Every major chord you replace with a major seventh chord, except when that major chord is the fifth chord. So give me, let me give you an example. Uh, Papa says that chords are C major, A minor, F major, G major, right? So, Marco, we want to make Papa kehte hai with sevens. We want to make it jazzy. What we'll do is, sabse pehle minor chords mein bola. Minor chord aake band karke replace. So, C major, C major, A minor, F major, G major. Papa kehte hai bada naam karega. So, sabse pehle mein A minor ko replace kar diya with A minor seventh. So, now my song is C major, A minor seventh, F major, G major. Right? 
one minor chord, I replace it with a minor seventh chord. Now, se second step. Replace all major chords with major seventh chords except the fifth chord. C major ke case mein C major. Next chord hoti hai D minor. Next chord hoti hai E minor. Next chord hoti hai F major. Next chord hoti hai G major. So G is the fifth chord. F is the fourth okay. major. F is a major. C is also major. So I'll replace all the major chords with major seventh except the fifth chord, which is G. I'll replace that with a G7. Now let's say you replace G with a G major seven as well. So you'll sound so C ki jagah C major seventh ho gaya. Sounding very nice, no? Papa kehte hai bada F major seventh naam karega. Let me just replace a G with a G major seven. Is it making sense? Some of you might say, yeah, it's sounding a little jazzy. Some people might say it's sounding a little janky. Yeah. Not really nice. But let me just play the song you want for you. Papa kehte hai bada naam karega. Maybe not so pleasing, but again, depends on your ears. I think third, third chord was actually like me, Irko, personally. Which is the F. Okay, so anyways, we're not discussing the F, F right now. We're discussing the G. The G is the fifth chord. Fifth chord ko hum G7 se replace karenge. So it'll become this. Papa kehte hai bada naam karega. That's sounding a lot better than, right? Okay. So what you do is you study the chords of the song. Ki pata hai mari kya hai C major. Ab dekho ki uska fifth chord kya hoti hai G. Agar koi bhi G aati hai, you replace the fifth with a dominant seventh chord. All the fifth chords need to be dominant. Every other major chord is just a major seventh chord. Okay. So do this step okay. once again. Step one. Okay. What is step one? Replace all minor chords aake band karke with minor seventh. Step two. Take the fifth chord, make it a dominant seventh chord. Step three. Rest major chords are just major seventh chords. Okay. okay. But blues, blues music is nothing but dominant, dominant. Well, a lot of blues is just dominant seventh chords. Yeah. So listen to blues if you want to. Okay. Cool. Blues music is actually minor seventh chords and dominant seventh chords. Either you have a minor progression, minor blues progression, which is a minor seventh chord, or it's a major progression, which is just a dominant seventh chord, not a major seventh chord. 